Hi, it's Janet here from Green Urban Living and today I'm going to show you how to check for American fowl brood in your top bar hive. Now this is a really important check that you need to do um, and what you need to do is go through every frame of your hive and checking either side of the comb for American fowl brood. So the, the symptoms um, that you're looking for is brood that uh, is a little bit dark maybe in colour has, is more sunken than other brood or um, if it's got tiny little perforations or little holes in the brood and often if you've got American fowl brood in your hive you can, it actually emits quite a sort of a fishy sort of smell so that's another another idea um, to look for um, and one thing you can do if you suspect some of your brood has got American fowl brood is to put, get a little stick and put it pierce it into the into the brood swirl it around a bit and then bring the stick out and if the larvae has gone all sticky and ropey and it comes out with a stick in a small sort of rope shape um, that's a really strong indicator that yes you've got American fowl brood. So this is what I do basically it's going through every every comb lifting up this one has actually got no brood on it it's just got honey a little bit of honey store on it this one here is the same so it's got a little bit of capped honey as we're going into winter, I'm leaving this in the hive so that the bees have stores for winter. When you're checking each comb, it's important to um, try and get rid of most of the bees off the comb so that you can actually check it. This one again has just got the honey stores here and the bees are putting a little bit of pollen in those empty cells. What I do to get the bees off is lift the top bar up and then just give it a little bit of a gentle shake like this and it gets most, most of the bees off and so that means that you can check the brood. So what I'm looking for is any of the brood here um, in a darker colour, um, perhaps the cells are a little bit more sunken than the other cells surrounding it um, or perhaps the, the cap of it has a, a small hole in it. So what I, what I like to do is choose one cell that looks perhaps a little bit stranger than the rest of them and just open it up with my knife and check that the, the larvae looks healthy um, in, in that cell. And again, really important to remember to do the other side. So it's both sides of the comb that you're checking. So they look really nice and healthy. In fact, there's little, little bees in there that are hatching out. If you don't like doing the shaking, what you can do is with your bee brush just gently stroke the bees off back into the hive while you check the brood. This one here has got new larvae in it, so the queen's just been on this comb and it has laid some new larvae that's not capped yet. This is the capped brood here that we're checking. And remember, never, never put the comb horizontal, to turn it to the other side, flick it over like this. Always keep it vertical. So that's a really good nice laying pattern, it's nice and um, uniform and I'll just open one little cell just to, just to double check that everything looks okay, which it does, and replace it back into the hive. So it's a matter of going through every comb and doing that sort of check. Also if you were to move any of these top bar um, combs into another hive, it's really important to check, do a check for American fowl brew before you do um, you know, move any